Uh, no. So, I just traveled through Asia for three weeks with this backpack, and everything else that I bought, I put in here. So I put some of the stuff that I bought in here, too. Um, and I think I finally realized the value of having all these straps, because I bought this backpack as, like, a hiking kind of a thing uh, about a year ago, but I never really understood the purpose of all of these until I was traveling with next to no space. So um, this is a towel uh, that I bought in Japan because I didn't pack a towel. Of all the things that I packed, I did not pack a towel. The Hitchhiker's Guide number one, right? Don't forget your towel and don't panic. Um, so I bought this towel for 300 yen. So this is a $3 towel that I got at the hospital. And <laughs> this is the scarf that I wore because it was freaking cold always. Um, as I was going through Japan, as I left D.C., it was like March something, so uh, all of it was very, very cold. And so I had to figure out a way to pack it as I was leaving Bangkok, which was blazing hot. It was like 90 degrees, so the purpose of having this scarf was completely gone. I was wearing like shorts and like, you know, t-shirts and stuff, and people were throwing buckets of water on me, but that's another part of the story that's online. Um, so, uh, the other thing is that these straps here were never useful until just now. So, these straps are actually holding in the sandals that I bought in Bangkok uh, for <coughs> 300 baht, which is like $10. These are $10 sandals. So, those are in there. And <coughs> in here is all my clothes. So, this is a t-shirt that I bought in Bangkok. This is my Ganesha t-shirt, and it smells hideous because I was wearing it for basically two days, and on the plane from Thailand to Japan, but hot, right? Pretty cool. And then all the rest of the clothes that I packed, so that's one, two, three t-shirts, two pairs of socks, it's a dress shirt, another dress shirt, that's another t-shirt. Another, oh, that's my yoga pants that I wore as jammies. Two sweater vests. And another two pairs of socks. A pair of underwear. And then this is the laundry bag that I bought while I was in Asia. I thought I was buying a really huge one, and it was, like, the biggest size they had, but because it's Asia, everything is tiny and small. And people have, like, five pairs of clothes. So this is the laundry bag that I bought in Japan. And so now I have all my dirty clothes, so you don't have to look at this, but this is like two pairs of socks, another pair of socks, um, some more underpants, that's one, two, three, four, five pairs of underwear, a uh, pair of shorts that are still wet from Song Kron, so those got to get washed immediately because it's been like a day and a half or two days, a uh, golf shirt, uh, another t-shirt, like the TARDIS in here. There's another t-shirt, and this is a floral shirt that I bought when I was in Thailand, because one of the things that you wear on Thai New Year are these crazy, loud Hawaiian shirts like this. Um, and there's another two, oh no wait, this is a t-shirt, but these are some fisherman pants that I bought uh, while I was in Thailand. These are super cool. They look enormous, um, but you fold them over fold them over like this, and then there's these straps that strap around, and then you tie it off and roll it up, and then you have some nice, comfortable, loose, flowing pants. But it's also still covered in chalk from Song Kron, because one of the things that they do is they paste you with, like, this mentholated towel. And, let's see, this is another two t-shirts. And that's the end of what's in that pocket. And then I have the stuff that's in this pocket right here, uh, which is my netbook, which I use to record all my stuff and uh, document everything. And uh, the envelope that I had some money in. The travel extra seat, which is completely useless, um, because I came back with no extra money except for coins, and they won't take coins. And, um, Let's see. And in here, I have all of my cables and stuff, and I'm just going to leave those in there because 
I used them in there anyways. And a couple of receipts from uh, Tokyo. This is my receipt from my tempura dinner last night. And uh, I think this is from the AM PM, but I'm not quite sure. Anyhow, so that's what I packed in my carry-on bag to get there. And then this is my souvenir bag. So all of these things that are in here are things that I bought while I was traveling. And the bag itself is the thing that I bought while I was traveling. It's actually the second bag I had to buy because the first bag was too small. Um, so this is another pair of shorts. So I didn't buy those, but it's another pair of shorts that I needed uh, to get around town. So <laughs> this is my envelope that I have all of my um, little paper doodads, you know, like maps and things, and uh, receipts from hotels. And, and this is a bag of books um, that I bought. Uh, one of them is Akira Volume 1 in Japanese, and two of them are some Chinese boy detective novels, which are kind of cool. And then these are some children's books from Thailand, from the Kinokuniya bookstore in Thailand. I didn't go to the Kinokuniya in Japan, oddly enough, but I did go to the one in Thailand. And this is a book that was given to me about the history of the School of Information Management at Wuhan University, where I taught for two days. And uh, this is for JD. Uh, this is a little headband uh, for success in school, um, and I'm sure that that will come in handy. And um, I got my little Wuhan University teddy bear. I think that that's cool. Um, this is my uh, travel case with my toothbrush and my soapbox. The soapbox I had to buy in Japan, and it says, Wonder, seeking the extremity. I thought that was hilarious, and so I decided to keep it. And it's all in a Hello Kitty um, fairy tale bag, which I bought also in Japan. Um, all of my travel books are in here. Some of them are in plastic and some of them are not. They're, they're also in the Hello Kitty Ziploc bag. And let's see what else do I have in here? This is my Wuhan University tote bag. Uh, my plastic uh, phone case for Song Kron so that it didn't get destroyed in the water craziness. This is my original tote bag that I bought in Japan. It's actually kind of a little purse type bag, but it unzips to be like a full size tote bag, which is super cool. I think I'm going to give this to Potpourri, because I think she'll really appreciate that. And then there's a couple more things in here. This is a box of uh, Hashi. It's a chopstick box that I got for the house. And these are the bags of uh, little doodads that I bought in different places. Uh, this is my reclining Buddha statue. And this is my Mameshiba uh, uh, tiger bean keychain. So, ta-da! And, um, let me pull out Refining Buddha because the Refining Buddha is kind of cool too. It's all wrapped up in paper and stuff. A minute and a half left. Okay. Reclining Buddha from what? Oh, I bought it in, in uh, the home of the famous Reclining Buddha. Uh, this is a Mameshiba Gachapan ball. It's a Mameshiba driving a boat. I don't know if you can see him in there, but he's, he's, he's captaining a little boat. And um, this is another Gachapan ball from the uh, Gundam store. Uh, no, this is not. This is a Sky Tree uh, pin. I was seeing in Asakusa, which is right next to the Tokyo Sky Tree. Uh, domo key ring. Uh, actually, I think it's a cell phone dongle, but and I think I got another Domo cell phone dongle, and a uh, little Gunma bubble, and this is the Gundam Gachapon bubble, and I think that's it. Except I think I have one more thing in here. Oh yes, and uh, from a visit to the uh, Guanyin Temple in uh, China. It's this little dragon beaver. And that's all the stuff that I got in Asia. And now I have to clean this up. <laughs>